Gaussian splats can turn photos and videos into 3D, but if you use a site like Polycam, you only get a minimum of 20 frames and a maximum of 250. So we're gonna test the 20 frame minimum against the 250 frame maximum. And of course, we're gonna make it a competition. But not only that, we're testing 20 versus 250 frames in video and in photo. So let's go. First things first, we need to give credit to the boys at Bad Decision Studio for popularizing Gaussian splats here on YouTube. And guys, if you're watching this, we've got a project I think you'd be interested in. Making Gaussian splat is super simple. You take photos or videos of an object and upload it as an image sequence to poly.cam. After doing this, it processes for about 40 minutes, then comes up with your new Gaussian splat. In this bowl, I put two pieces of paper. One of them says 20, the other one says 250. That's the amount of frames that you get to make your Gaussian splat. Now, I'm gonna get Austin in here. We're gonna pick them out, and then whoever gets which one is the amount of frames you have. I'm scared. Bruh. I guess I can look at this too. Woo! Shoot! Woo Read it and weep. I got 250. All right, let's shoot this thing, which, for this example is gonna be this old, beautiful vintage camera. So I need to get 20 frames to capture the entirety of this camera. 24 frames per second is like one eighth of a second. How are you gonna pull this off? Okay, I got 20 frames. 20 frames to capture this and turn it into a 3D Gaussian spot. I'm guessing I need to capture as much of it as possible. Is that right? Landscape or portrait? and I have to shoot it in 24 FPS. Do I need like a timer so I can like practice this? Okay, but I'm, I'm gonna record early and then you can take the 0.8 seconds from that. What if I just like, what if I do it on this? Jet, hold on. It's gonna be tough. Oh, that was terrible, oh, that was terrible. I gotta do it again. 0.8, gosh, okay, okay. That one felt really good. Shoot, I closed, I locked my screen. And with that out of the way, it's my turn. 250 frames, I don't know, it's gonna be tight. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. Let's get some details. Yeah. That's 10 seconds. I'm not even gonna take another one. That wasn't even 10 seconds. That was. <laughs> No, I think I messed up. All right, we're gonna take both of these images, put them in polycam, come back, see what 20 frames looks like, and see what 250 frames looks like, and then we're gonna do photos. And here we are. Everything's been processed. Austin's 20 shot, maybe it'll work. The splat, my 250 shot. Let's do a little comparison. This is the first time I'm seeing this, so. Are you ready? Nope. That's it? That's it? That's what I made? You're kidding. You're absolutely kidding. This is what... <laughs> <laughs> this has to be a joke. It said it could work with 20 frames. Zoom in. You think I'm gonna zoom yeah, into this? Zoom. It's gonna get better? Yes. This is the eye of the storm, brother. Doesn't get any better. <laughs> to be fair, I could see this in the MoMA. You know in Oppenheimer when they have those little flash... I'm going to tell the truth. All right, now Josh's. Okay, this is dumb. Oh, that looks great. Look at the detail, like uh, even on the handles. There's immense detail in this. Experiment one, pretty successful. The hypothesis of this video was more frames the better. We just proved it now. Yeah. And now we're gonna try 20 photos instead of 20 frames of a video. And we're here. 250 photos to get a perfect Gaussian splat of this camera. The best way to do this is act and move like you're filming a video, but you're really just rapid fire taking photos. I'm gonna start wide like this and straight up all that I'm doing is just tap, 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 all the way around. I'm gonna go in close, see how I'm just tapping, getting every little detail, trying to keep it in the center as much as possible. I'm gonna kick your ass on this one. This is not even gonna be close. This is so many photos. It's gonna look perfect. Now Austin has 20 photos, strategically placed. Let's see how he can do. Not confident. I'm gonna not taking the photos, it's gonna plan it out, you know? Wait, so you're not taking photos right now? No, I'm not taking photos right now. I'm just practicing. Here we go. I'm gonna do this for real. Can't believe you got tips. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think I did an okay job. Uh, will it be better than the last one? I don't know. Is this gonna make a decent Gaussian splat? I don't know. But, there's only one way to find out. And we're here. Austin, moment of truth. How do you feel about your Gaussian splat? I'm not excited, I'll be honest. I felt pretty good about it, but I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe it's not as good as I thought. I think you should go first. All right, time. let's go. I'll go first. Loading it live. Wow. Uh, it's actually insane. That it's is, pretty insane. That is phenomenal. You can even see inside of the clamp. Considering like you're not meant to like zoom in that much, like it's pretty sweet that you can just like get this from 250 quick photos, you know? I actually took, I took like 270 and then I cut it down to 250. You cheated and then you brought it back. I followed the parameters of the, the game. Yeah. Austin, 20 photos. Fingers crossed. You're kidding! You're kidding me! What? Come on! This, oh, oh, oh. Wait a second! This looks more like the Oppenheimer movie than the last yes, one. Yes, yes. Going to tell the truth. You got like one sixteenth of it. Yeah, well, I don't understand. I thought it said it could use 20 photos. It is. No, it's nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> and. You shouldn't use 20 photos. Hypothesis correct. More photos, better Gaussian splat.